Yeah, my wife said, have fun, but don't do stupid shit. I don't know if that includes standing on the uh, main rail line between uh, Darwin and Adelaide. But there we go. Well, here I am set up just near North Tent Hill Rest Area, a few k's north of Port Augusta on the Stuart Highway. And the sun's about to go down, so it's going to get cold fairly quickly. I've gone through a bit of a track here to get away from the road noise, which is probably a good thing. Then I've parked up and realised I'm not too far from the train line just through over there so this is me for the night and then I'll be heading further north tomorrow so I feel like I'm in the outback now or on a new part of my journey so somewhere over there is Tent Hill and I'm hoping there's not too many trains tonight I'm camped just over here near the train track but no, that's all right I think there'll be less trains than there will be road noise and a big semi came and parked in that rest area anyway so I think it was a good call anyway the sun's gone down it's starting to get cold so I'm you know, gonna head back to the caravan I think and uh, Think about getting something to eat. I lost count of how many trains went through last night, but um, there was a lot. One stage there was one every uh, 20, 30 minutes, I reckon. I wanted some proof that I was up before sunset. So here comes the sun. But it is freezing, absolutely freezing here. I ended up getting up last night and putting my thickest jumper on, going back to bed. So there's the sun coming up on it's going to be a beautiful day. At the moment, it's just so cold. Filling up with diesel at a truck stop. And this uh, monster comes in beside me. It's helpful on uh, getting this going. The last one had four trailers. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you 
it comes the next time. So this is where I stayed last night, the Ingemar rest area. And, um, as you can see it's quite close to the road. But yeah, just a basic roadside stop. We've got some shelters over there, water tank, no trolleys. Very windy and cold. <laughs> Hitting the road, heading towards Cuba PD. So I'm at Lake Hart, I stop along the way, and it is, as you can see, a salt lake. Uh, it's actually full of water, which doesn't happen too often, so lucky enough to come across this on my travels. Apparently, the uh, remains here are from a uh, a rail line to track the rockets that were launch, launched from Woomera a long time ago. Well, with this unscheduled stop at Lake Hart, which I'm glad I stopped there and had a walk down to the lake, definitely well worth a stop. And being full of water is a bonus. Uh, I thought, well, I might as well have lunch. And my fears have come to reality. I must have forgotten to double check the catch on the pantry and everything is on the floor. Oh dear. Unless you really push the doors to make sure they're closed. Quite often found them not fully closed, but obviously I went into that one and didn't go back and check it. So that's a bit of a bugger. I'll be spending a little bit more time here than I thought. Oh no, there's herbs. Uh, oops, me. Herbs everywhere. It looks like we've got mixed herbs now. I should have read my list on the fridge there and double checked everything. There's on the fridge, there is a pack up list. So I'm used to Joy packing up the inside of the van, so it's a bit handy having a checklist there just to make sure everything's done. Mm, lesson learned. Yeah, this is one of those oh shit moments. But it does look like it's time to clean up. Finding herbs in here for a long time. But yeah, could have been worse. And hopefully I'll be double checking every time. Uh, could get worse, I guess. Time to repack and then get some lunch and maybe revise my plans of actually getting to Cooper Pedy today.